ask you a question. Would you rather do this? My first success. Look at how pretty it looks. Or this. My first success. Look at how pretty it looks. Let me show you how to get images and videos like this in just one prompt in Leonardo AI or in many other platforms. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, she prompts and if you're new here, welcome. If you've been with me for a while, you'll notice something. I'm actually in the camera down the bottom. I figured with the proliferation of AI, I might as well show my face and just show I am not AI. And that's how that's going to go forward, provided I remember to do it. But let's get to the video. Now, what you're looking at are two separate videos. This one is a single or solo dialogue video. The character speaks. And this one is a voiceover. And you can do both of them, both different kinds of videos in Leonardo AI. It's just a matter of how you prompt it and which model you choose. It actually makes a big, big difference. So let's go into the prompting part first so that you can get an idea of what you need to do in order to at least have a better chance of getting the kind of video, AI video that you want. Okay, here I have a very simple, like a live cam, one of those live streaming fashion rooms where people try on stuff or try on different outfits or stuff like that. You've seen them all over TikTok and sometimes maybe even on YouTube, maybe even Instagram. So what we have here is a simple prompt. And believe it or not, this prompt will give you about, I'd say four or five second video with audio, depending on which model you choose. Now it says here, it's a fashion live streaming room. Their clothes are on the rack and it's a full length mirror. Now, dialogue, you can do this or, and this is actually, I think it's best practice to do, to make sure to let the AI know that you're doing dialogue separate it with a colon. Uh, so all of these little, I have a video from a while back where I go into some of the little changes or the little grammatical symbols that you can use within Leonardo to help it to push in. That was very in the, that was in the beginning. Now it's a lot more sophisticated and, but these symbols do come in handy. The square brackets, the, the, the parentheses, all of that comes in very handy. Now dialogue colon, right? And in this case, you have an African-American female. I'm actually gonna change her to just straight African. Female host, because I've been watching a lot of these videos, uh, a lot of the African fashion videos, and they are fabulous. And then it basically turns to show off a sweatshirt fit. So in this case, I wanna do a very nice, beautiful floral fit. I'm gonna put square neck. So we have here African or Amer African female host turns to show off the beautiful square neck floral dress fit. And then it says here, the, the dialogue she says, and it actually tells Leonardo or your platform saying that this character is in square brackets, or she could be in parentheses, but square brackets says something. And then you denote what the person is saying with quotation marks. So always, always, if you're doing anything dialogue, even if it's narration, start your dialogue off with quotation marks. 360 degree flawless cut, slimming and flattering. And then immediately the host moves closer to the camera and then the host in a lively voice says double side brushed fleece, $30 off purchase now or whatever the call to action you wanna include. So let's go ahead, grab this, and put this into Leonardo. Here we are in Leonardo. Um, I've chosen, of course, the video tab. And you'll take a look and you see that Leonardo has a lot of AI video models on here. Um, some of them are from different platforms, but you wanna look for the particular models that have audio in these tags. Now let's take a look at this one. I've chosen Kling and I'll tell you why, why I choose Kling in a minute, but you can see that Kling has audio. Of course, Sora 2 and Sora are in here. VO is in here and both of these, um, Sora and VO do have audio. And then you have the other Kling and VO3 and all those guys down here. 
Okay, so now that we have the prompt that we want, I actually changed it to a few things. Um, I use Kente lapel, so it's going to be a different look than what I had initially stated. Um, I'm in Clean 2.6, duration five seconds, and then you can choose the dimensions you want depending on the platform you're going to post to. I'm going to choose 16.9. And of course, if you are someone who is on a paid subscription or if you're on free, just know that something like this would cost 700 tokens. So on somebody, for somebody who is on a free, you wouldn't be able to generate this. So you'd have to go move to a paid subscription. What we have here is we're in video, not an image. Make sure that that is secured. And now we're going to go ahead and run it and see how it looks. I'm excited. Okay, so in reality, this took a little bit under two minutes to generate. So let's go ahead and see what comes up. 60 degree, flawless cut, slimming and flattering. Gorgeous in our design that's perfect for professional outings. Click to see the full collect. Okay, so what we're seeing is that um, it is a little bit cut off at the end, which you can generate it again if you wanted to just go ahead and edit that. And her speech is a little bit fast. So it's one of those things where, again, it is not perfect, but this is actually much better than what we're used to from, I remember back in the day when I was starting this, you had to piece everything together and still and use 11 labs. And I still use 11 labs because there's certain voices that I like to have in my, in my videos. And you can't really choose a voice here. You just have to do your best, give it the prompts for a voice and it will choose it for you. If there was one thing that I wish that AI video did in on these platforms like Leonardo is that it would allow you to choose a voice. But still, this is far better than what we've had in the, since in t like two years ago, if even one year ago. So I am very happy with this. Now, again, what you get depends on the model that you choose. For example, if I were to choose to do this in Sora, for example, let's see. Let's go down here to Sora Pro. I'm going to do Sora Pro versus Sora too, just because my experience is that the pro is a little bit more um, prompt adherent and I don't have to fight with it as much. If you do the Sora 2 and then the Sora Fast or any of the other platforms, it may, the, the Fast sacrifices prompt adherence for speed. So it depends on what it is that you want to generate or how you want to generate it. So let's go ahead and do Sora 2 Pro. And again, notice that for a high quality video, you would need 2000 credits for four seconds. So I'm actually just gonna drop it to 720 and that'll drop me down to 1200 credits and I'm gonna do 16.9 as I did before. So let's go ahead and generate this and see how it comes out. Okay, so this took a couple of minutes to generate, a little bit longer than Kling. And here's the interesting part. 360 degree flawless cut, slimming and flattering. Gorgeous and card. Okay, now what we hear in this is that number one, it has it's more of a voiceover. It's not the dialogue that we got in the cling one because it doesn't adhere as much to that part of the prompt. And also we're seeing that it actually cut off some of the dialogue itself in the voiceover. So this is one of those things where you'd probably have to go high quality, wait for it to fully render, and then see if that might improve it. But my experience with Sora 2 Pro in certain instances like this is that it, instead of doing an actual dialogue voice, it does a voiceover. And by the way, the, the accent for this is great. It's actually what I wanted. And that's where it is, it excels over Kling. Um, but again, I wanted character to speak, not a voiceover. So again, it's, it depends on what you choose. Now let's talk about how to create narration on purpose instead of by accident. One of the things that you'd really want to do, it's roughly the same prompting technique. However, you want to add a few words to it. For example, if we take a look at this prompt right here, and I'm basically going to be talking about a uh, Bluetooth speaker. And then the dialogue, it says, you know, a man walks over, that's the scene, gently tapping a switch. The narrator I'm using is a middle-aged black American woman with a casual, rich voice. And it says with 360 degrees surround sound, you can enjoy rich film music from anywhere in the room. The scene is set, but remember that you're putting the actual character that's walking in its own square brackets or parentheses, and then you're putting the narrator persona in another set of brackets. 
And in this case, you should be able to direct the actual first person, the man, to walk away by just saying the man because it's already been set up. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm running this again in Kling. You can, of course, create the image that you want and then put this into Leonardo's video generator, whichever model you choose. But again, I like Kling because Kling has proven itself to be really reliable and a strong model for video generation, for AI video generation. So let's go ahead and put that in and see how what it comes out. With 360 degree surround sound, you can enjoy rich, full music from anywhere in the room. Now you see anything off about that? While I did want a voiceover, it actually gave me dialogue. So I realized and I looked at the prompt itself and it said the following. The dialogue is up here and you have the first character coming in, walking over, and then you have the actual speaking here. So what I did was that I moved the dialogue to this section to see how it would work. And so I actually took away the brackets from the male character walking away. And then I put the, the dialogue and then I said voiceover. And this is where it speaks right here. This is the result. With 360 degree surround sound, you can enjoy rich, full music from anywhere in the room. So as you can see, while the male character's voice mouth is moving, He's not really moving in sync with the voiceover. So it could be that he's speaking to maybe Siri or whatever, you know, the AI assistant he may have in his home. He may have a smart home or he may be speaking to somebody on the phone. So it's one of those things where you can work with this and you can create something around this. For example, if you were actually selling a Bluetooth surround sound unit like this, it would come in handy. So you just have to kind of work with it and it's almost, it's close to what I want. It's not all, it's not fully perfect, but this is AI. AI will mess up and in some ways it will mess up in great ways. So these are just some of the ways that you can manipulate the prompt to get you to work with a single voice character Perhaps you were trying to do something in the fashion space or in the real estate space, and then you wanted to do something just quickly like that. Or you can do a voiceover. And remember that you can create the images first and then use those images in Leonardo's video generation or whatever flat platform you use. Or you can just basically create the video from text if you're open to the aesthetic and to the background music and all the other items that go with it. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Of course, if you like this video, found it useful, please like, subscribe, share. It definitely helps with the channel and helps to get me in front of more people and I can do more of these tutorials. Thank you again. Hope you have a good day. See you in the next video.